Now we're doing Ask Ham Pow July questions. Unfortunately, this week we only have one, so I'll get into detail. And before I get started, I moved back from Statesboro back to Hilton Head so I could save my parents money. And I brought my sound system home. And there it is. I used to have a 12 inch sub, which is right there. That thing won't even power on anymore. And I emailed the company and they don't even make parts for that anymore. So I'll have to buy a new one and that's pretty much garbage now. And before we get into the questions, this is awesome. Made by some homeless kid. What a really good job he's done with making a trailer for my emergency responses. I love it. I dropped. I fell asleep and dropped and dreamed about it. It's that dope. I love it so much. I just want to thank you all for doing that, and it's really awesome. Now let's get to the question. There's only one question. So, I'm a six-year-old viewer with the world ahead of me and a twinkle in my eye. What advice do you have for a young viewer like myself to make it in this turbulent, ever-changing world? For my first advice for you, Mr. Finger and Toe, you're so young to see the fullest of this world. But my advice for this world, for you, is that listen to your parents. First of all, I may seem like a dork and may just be like preaching stuff, but I didn't listen to my parents when I was younger because um, your parents have so much advice and so much a better way of explaining how this world operates, you know? But I, when I was y younger, I used to rebel and disrespect my parents but if you lived how I did and disrespected your parents ignore what they had to say because they're the ones that put us in this world and they know best what this world is like because they've lived in it longer but my advice on that is that be respect your parents don't care what other people think because you're on this earth to fulfill your life, not no one else's. And don't give a rat's ass what other people think of you. Because if people look at you different, so what? At least you have your own personalities and, and things, etc. But I disrespected my parents. I, I'm 24 years old and I regret from this day on of how I treated my parents. Because I should have listened. Because in college and in high school, I, I got into drugs. And drugs is not a good thing. I mean, it mess, it rips families apart. I mean, I went to jail for a drug charge in college. Which my parents don't know. Because it will break their heart. Because they raised me right. They raised me with integrity to be a well-Christian young man. But I rebelled. And look what I've gotten. A drug charge and a misdemeanor on my record. So, I mean, your parents know a way more a lot than I may do, Because, but that's the best thing. Get closer with your family, because family is important. Because once your family is gone, and once you move out, you start realizing and regretting the things that you've done. Like, I mean, I regret a lot of things, what I've done when I was younger. I mean, I regret disrespecting my parents, and because you think about it, and the other day, I was I still live with my parents because I can't get a girlfriend. I'm not worried about that, and I'm in school, and I don't care, and don't give don't care about what other people have because it's like ro robots. For example, if everyone lived like one way, like all these cool kids, then. Life will be boring, you know? So, live your life respectfully and fully to the max because don't, and second advice, live 
how you were meant to live. I was, unfortunately, when I was like younger, I was like, seemed like a loser and shit. I mean, I laugh at that. I mean, I, lo I love being a loser, you know? It's awesome. People, I mean, in my high school, I was hated in high school. I mean, but my biggest regret on that is that I cared what other people thought of me. I did. I wanted people to love me. I wanted people to think I was dope. No, I was just that loser, retarded kid in school. And I just wanted to be a wannabe. But since I graduated and saw what the real world is, you won't have those same people. So live how you were meant to live. Don't care what people think. Because are you on this earth to live like such and such and such? No. You live how you supposed to live. So third advice, making friends. It's cool to have friends and stuff, but friends come and go. Family is always with you. So you should keep in mind, number one on top of your list is your religion. My religion is I, I love Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is number one. Number two, my family. Number three, my for some of my friends. Number four, my electronics. And number four, try to eliminate all the regrets. Like with friends, I had like two of my best, best friends from high school. It turned out to be nothing. To be honest with you, none of my friends that I went to high school with ever contacts me. And I had two of my best friends, which they were like brothers. Now they're like dead brothers. Because they wanted to do drink and they wanted to drive. They thought they were badasses. They wanted to be like the cool kids, which they did something stupid, got killed. I have another friend that once they graduate, you won't see them again. So I know you're pretty young for a viewer. I mean, it's cool to hang out with people and stuff, but don't get attached to them because once you graduate high school, you'll never see them again. Y'all departure. Y'all will leave and you have your own life. And it's like, look at me. The only th thing that I have is my family, my Lord and Savior, and my college friends. And college friends will do the same thing. So I know you have a long way in life for college, but and don't be a perverted person. Because I know I've, I mean, it's a sickness to be perverted. I have that sickness. There's a lot of things wrong with me. So other mental diseases I don't let that stop me if you have any like mental diseases or like any disabilities embrace it like yes I'm retarded because when people call me retarded I just yes yes yeah I love doing that fuck yeah oh yeah but, yo of course because I love being myself you know don't care what other people think my parents they get embarrassed every time I do this in public. They say, you're acting retarded. You'll be pushing carts for the rest of your life. Then I looked at them like, really? When my dad was like, looked at me and just laughed. And I said, you, you're acting retarded. And I was like, yeah, I know, that, that is what I do. But since my dad had has cancer, he's been in a bad mood a lot. So I don't act retarded around him anymore. So, so he's been grouchy a lot and just try to get along with your parents. That is what I do. Eliminate all the regrets, love your family, and and don't be a pervert because you won't have a girlfriend if you're a pervert. Girls, I mean, I was perverted, and guess what I got? I got skanks. I got raccoons. I got bitches. You want a girlfriend. You don't want a slut because if you act perverted, you're going to get a slut, and they're going to cheat on you. So that is how I did. I mean, I, I was acting like a pervert. I, oh yeah, I got a girlfriend. It was a slut. I was like, damn it. So, to impress a girl, be yourself, be respectful, do it the old-fashioned way. Don't be like trying to be in her pants because she would not like that. And be yourself because this world could be a real cruel world. And just learn to live your life. Very cool because you will have a cool life because... Once you get older, everything will catch up to you. I mean, everything will. All your regrets. Because me and my dad were talking about memories when he was a kid. My dad had some regrets. And he remembers. I'm not going to get into detail because 
I don't have permission because my granddad was he was a World War II veteran and my dad said some things that he from this day on regrets wished he had never said so be careful what you do because once you get older things start falling falling into part and you will get depressed about it but live your life respectfully live your life cool it doesn't matter what other people think it really doesn't so and the last thing is temptation. You will be tempted. There is an ass amount of ways to be tempted. Like for example, stealing, girls, sluts, and a lot of things could tempt us. And with all, before I get into that, there is, with the things that I've done, it's never too late to fix your mistakes. I mean, change your ways. Like with me, my parents were surprised that I changed my life. So, there's always change. And life is all about choices. You make what you want to do. And with temptations, don't give in to temptations. It's a sin. Because, of course, I was tempted hundreds of times. And it disgusted me. It made me feel like shit. Temptations is hard. For example, if you feel tempted, get away from the situation. For example, if I'm with a group of friends smoking dope and I'm tempted, of course, the smart thing, just say, yo, bruh, my mom's calling and you stick your hand in your pocket, act like your phone is ringing and just, I gotta go. Let's, I got to go. So, dude, he's a blunt smoker. I got to go. And, I mean, there is temptation. So, it's up to you to ignore temptations because it's sickening. It's disgusting. It makes me feel like a shithole. So, I changed my life and don't get tempted because one false move, your life could be over. And with your life goes how you make it. For example, if you decide to go and smoke weed or get behind the wheel, you, you crash. Your life is over. It's toast. Over. So, don't get tempted. I know it will. there's some things that I get tempted of doing and it's really hard just get out of it because always listen to your conscience because if you notice something's going wrong get out of there I'm, I may be a dork but it'll save you in the long run because you don't want to be like doing something because when I was like when my friends was like stealing from Walmart I was with him and I went to jail with him so and be careful who you hang out with. Hang out with the good people. Don't hang out with the people that does something wrong. Because if you do something wrong with them, the cops and the law will see it as one party. And everybody gets punished. It doesn't matter if you're separate. All, all, Y'all were there. You did it. Y'all will go. Y'all will join the party. Join the fiesta. So... If you notice something's wrong, get out of it. I'm going to wrap up this Ask Cam Pow to you. Thanks for sending that question. And just live your life cool. Don't care what others think. Because for right now, since I changed my life to Jesus, I only live for Him and my family. And I'm happy that I am exist. Because I used to be suicidal. Su suicidal. And I used to hate it life because I was fixating on what people thought of me instead of thinking about myself because I live my life how I live my life and that is how you'll survive in this world by living according to yourself and don't let people take advantage of you and just be a thankful happy guy because you don't want to live life in a regret because it's stupid so thank you for watching I hopefully you learned something from this and Thanks again, and stay tuned for the August questions. Peace.